Hey guys, I'm here with a quick unboxing uh, of a new Trangia Kilk set that I just got. I've had my eye on one of these for a long time and I decided to get myself a little Christmas present. I got this on Amazon but through a third party seller called Great Outdoors Depot. So let's uh, pop it open and take a look. Now with these Trangia Cook sets there's a large variety of options that you can get. Um, some are, some are ultralight aluminum, some are with a non-stick fry pan, some are hard anodized with a non-stick fry pan, then there's tea kettles or no tea kettles. Um, they, they did make a titanium version for a while, they did make a stainless steel version, I'm not sure if they still do make the stainless steel. Titanium is very sought after. Um, this one does not have a tea kettle, and it's supposed to be a hard anodized I wanted a hard anodized with a hard anodized. Um, I wanted hard anodized with a hard anodized uh, fry pan, but um, that's, uh, uh, those are very hard to get. So um, this is supposed to be hard anodized with a not with a nonstick fry pan. So we're gonna, I'm going to open it from the bottom. That way you prefer the... You can't really do it now. Like that, but. Let's see if I got... This. this is 27.3 on it. So they go by... The various systems go by this 27... 27 is the smaller, and you can see that up there, but 27, and then the 3 denotes the various different components inside, um, whether they're non-stick or hard anodized or straight up ultralight aluminum. Um, they make also 25 dash whatever. Those are a larger size pot and whatnot uh, for more people. This is more of a single user set here. You can still make quite a bit in these. And then the HA uh, on the side there stands for hard anodized. From Sweden, I don't know, Trangia, you've probably seen the Trangia alcohol, alcohol burners. Um, I do have a Trangia alcohol burner. You've probably seen that in some of my earlier videos if you've watched those. So, comes with this little handy strap, which I've done for operated. I've seen it on videos, but I've never operated it myself. So it's a squeeze. And pull. So when you pull that out of there, there's my no stick fry pan. I should say non stick fry pan. You can get the hard anodized fry pans uh, on Amazon. So there's a little protector, and I think a lot of people. Leave that protector in the pan. I'm going to leave it in there for now to protect the pot from rattling around inside of it. We have a little Trangia handbook. 90 years they've been operating, 1925 to 2015. It's a long history there. So this is basically a little history about Trangia. The principal burners and fuels. They do make, this burns with a little alcohol burner. Um, there's care instructions, directions for use in a bunch of different languages, outdoor cooking, and oh look, salmon casserole recipe, and a lentil and carrot stew recipe, and chili, chili con carne. Let's set that aside. So. This is the base that you use as a windscreen. Cardboard insert. I like to keep all that stuff together. So we'll stick that back in the box. Inside of here we have...
This is your alcohol burner. Spirit burner, they call it. With little instructions on it. So you've, a lot of you, probably, if you're into the outdoors, you've probably seen the spirit burner. And these are brass. So that's your simmer ring. Actually, I got my lid and my simmer ring. There's your simmer ring. This little thing that goes over the top. Your lid has a rubber gasket in it, so one of the key things you've got to remember with using one of these stoves is to let it cool down before you put this back on or that O-ring will get melted onto there. But, but a good thing is you can leave fuel in here, tighten that up, and um, you know pack it out. You don't have to worry about burning all your fuel or getting rid of your fuel. This is a little discolored on the bottom, but uh, that's brass, and I think we could polish that up if it, if it really bothered you. Um, so I'm going to keep that in the bag so that it doesn't kick around and scratch everything up. Inside of here is your pot grabber. That feels like aluminum. Some people complain that the that this can scratch the pans if you grip too hard. But there's a no-stick pan with a fry handle. That's all, that no-stick pan also acts as a lid. So over here... You have this is the other part of the I don't know what they call this but this is the other part of the stand so you basically put that on there and you flip these down inside and you can set your bowl down in there like that seems to be a little chip in the finish there I th think if you do it like this I'm not sure I think you can put your pan on there like that. So you can do your frying like that. Your bowls are not gonna fit like that though. And you get two bowls. No graduations on them or anything. This one has graduations on it. 0.3 and 0.5 liters right there on the side. And there's um, these little circles here are visible. They're not marked, but you can see the circles on the inside, so that would help you with pouring water or whatever in there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this in here so it's not scratching the. So, yeah, you, well, I should have showed you this. Let's see. Off of here. Okay, so your burner your burner sits right in here like that. So your burner sits down in there like that. Fill that with alcohol. Then you place this. I could, with this would actually be a windscreen, I would guess. Put that on there. So air can flow all through here. The other thing they make is a gas adapter. And down here is a, where you would, you would feed the gas uh, adapter in there, and that thing burns all kinds of different fuels. Uh, but it's very expensive. It's like 100 something dollars. So I don't anticipate getting that anytime soon. Um, so you flip these in. For your bowl. This bowl I think is slightly bigger than this bowl because they fit inside each other. I can go like that. The other thing people do is they get real creative. You can you can put this on here as a lid. 
warm something in there if you want. So you got something that you want to keep warm, just keep that on there. You got a sauce or something going in there, you keep that warm on there. Um, all different kinds of combinations. So that is the Trangia 27.3. So this is the, this is all hard anodized. This, 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 this is all hard anodized aluminum. And the pan is an, a no-stick. So at some point in the future, I'd like to fire this thing up and we'll cook something in it and we'll do a video on that. But until then, thanks for watching. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you again next time.